Now, the, the door that opens up, I can't have a dog rushing out the front door. Most people, though, what do they say? Sit, stay, wait, mm -hmm. don't go, stop. Yeah. Or they yell the dog's name. All I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this door. All I'm going to do is open up the door. If your dog goes to rush out, I'm just going to give it a very quick backward pop. Mm -hmm. Again, leaving it in a loose, loose leash. Most people, they hold their dogs back. Right. Just to let you know, as a hobby, I do protection work. When I want my dog to actually get agitated and then eventually bite the guy in the padded suit, I hold her back. So your dog's not biting anybody, but what it's doing is it's jumping on people. So remember, it's the energy. So the energy that my dog uses to get all, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. and then bite the guy in the padded suit, your dog does, uh, 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 and then jumps on somebody. So it's all just energy. I just train my dog to bite people. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, when I open up the door, okay. again, I'm not going to use any words, okay, I'm still having a conversation with you. So again, the act of opening up the door, oh my gosh. okay, so again, loose leash, okay, <laughs> and if the dog wants to do that, great, I don't care. Right, all I really, runs. Right, all I really care about is, you don't go out that door. Uh -huh. So remember, every threshold. Everything I do is pretty much the same. Yes and no, good choice, bad choice. So, okay, so I'll break the dog out of this little, like, this calmness it was in by saying okay, and let's see if the dog makes the choice again. What do you want me to do, Jeff? So that's that, what do you want me to do? Oh, for your dog doesn't call me Jeff. What is that? What's that? What's that? Maybe he calls you Hefe. So, so this, this, is, this is the, what do you want me to do, Jeff? Look, yes. Communication. Right. This is dog training to me. Dog training is not sit, 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 good. It's don't get hit by a car. Don't jump on the UPS driver. And my little nephew who's three, who's just learning how to walk and is afraid of dogs, is not getting jumped on. Right. Okay? So this is so all I really amazing. care about. Like this is worth the price right nice. here. Just cool. so he doesn't run into this. <laughs> so, so this is all. Now, now imagine this. Now, imagine we went from massive amount of out of control right. yeah. to massive amounts of verbal words mm -hmm. to no words, right. leash on, and calmness. Mm -hmm. That's Amazing. what I'm looking for. That's it. That's it. Okay. We'll so, see on the walk now. I mean, right. He's really strong. I know he is. And he's really smart, too. <laughs> <laughs> and sweet. He's really handsome, he's really too. He's handsome. Yeah. I mean, he's a beautiful yeah. boy. So now, um, when it's, it's time... It's a girl. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's a girl. So when it's time for us to leave, all we're going to do is be like, okay, now, when I mean okay, that means you can cross the threshold, but for all my clients, you know, I'm in LA, between LA and Providence, so all my clients in New England... Okay doesn't mean now you can pull me out. Because in the winter time, that's how you end up slipping on the ice. And it's still rude. If our dog was off leash, would we want our dog to No. We want okay. And okay means casual. Casual walk. Casual walk. Okay? This is slipping down a little bit. I think he's sort of in between sizes. We'll maybe we'll maybe adjust, we'll maybe we'll adjust it later. We'll see. And you put the, the leash on the side of the neck? So what I do is, if I like to walk my dogs on the left, now it doesn't make a difference if you're left-handed or right-handed because we're not using strength. I'm personally right-handed. So, and I always have the chain part coming out from the side that we're on. Because okay. we'll remember, all we're doing is a lot of this. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if this was in the middle or even on the other side, now your dog's head is like going like that. Oh, right. So, and again, let's talk about... You know, walk like you have a mission. I want you to really make sure you're just walking really strong and powerful, setting a good example for your dog. So when you start walking, do your best not to look at the dog. I know if my dog only has 12 inches of leash, I know that if I feel nothing, my dog must be next to me. No, don't, don't, I hold the leash like this, just to sh don't walk down like this, neighbors will make fun of you. But everybody is so used to this. Mm -hmm. I want you to do the opposite. I want you to be standing up straight, breathing, confident, and just walk. And how do I know when to pop, Jeff? Well, when you feel your dog at the beginning, you get a little bit ahead of you. But just remember, these little pops, these are ones and twos. And all I want you to do right now is I just want you to be able to just 
Start walking, and I'm going to look towards the garage. Walk with a mission. Like, I got 30 minutes to walk. I got to get to work. Wow. And when you make your turns, you know, make a turn. Mm -hmm. Notice how I'm not talking to this dog. Yeah. You know, notice how I'm not talking to the dog. And notice how everything is nice and relaxed. Chickens, I freaking perform. <laughs> okay. Now we can talk about when we come to a stop. A lot of people like to tell their dogs to sit. What I like to do is just put them there. I'm trying to get the default sit. So remember at the front door, default, don't rush out the door. I want the dog to interpret the walk as this. You walk next to me. No marking, no sniffing, no lunging, no barking. When I come to a stop, as a human, you as a dog sit down politely next to me without being told. Why? I want to text, talk on a phone, look at a restaurant menu, give somebody directions. Maybe I want to be standing and watching something. I want this dog, this dog is probably less prone to run away from me when it's sitting down next to me. Okay? This to me is a connection. Dog out in front, we're just along for the ride. So this, what if he has to go to the bathroom? That's a good question. Does he have to go to the bathroom every five seconds? So, you can, what you can do is, at the beginning of your walk, if you want to let your dog go to the bathroom, but you determine it. In other words, I'm not going to let a dog pull me to a pee spot. Mm -hmm. Now, also, if a dog really has to go, it'll go while it's walking. Okay. But, um, obviously, if the dog puts on the brakes and starts squatting, you're going to stop. But a dog does not have to go to the bathroom as much as we think it has to. And the dog also doesn't have to drink water as much as we think it has to. It's a common thing that people think the dog always has to go to the bathroom and always needs to get water. But if I wanted to go to the bathroom, I'll be on my walk like this, and I'll just say, okay, go potty. Now, I got a six-foot leash. This dog has six feet. There's no way this dog is going to go from tree to tree to tree. If you really have to go, go. I'm not going on the grass. I don't want to go on the grass. You can, if you have to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom right there. Obviously, the dog does not have to go to the bathroom, so we resume. Okay? I control the bathroom. So again, walk, 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 and around. Amazing. Come to a stop. This is what I do. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm not just pushing down here, because sometimes what happens is you shoot the dog forward, or the dog goes this way. What I'm doing is I'm giving him an anchor, okay, and then I'm using two fingers. Historically, if you push down on a dog's back, they'll push back against you, but even my five-year-old can drop a 100-pound dog with these two fingers by pushing right there. And then what happens eventually is we just go like this, leash pressure, leash pressure, leash pressure, and they'll eventually do it. But right now I'm going to help your dog out a little bit. Okay. So why don't you take it for a walk? Do you ride a bicycle? Uh, yeah. Okay. So when you ride a bicycle, handles handles like this. The reason why I asked you is because I don't want you holding the leash like this. Okay. Because you're going to be doing a lot of this, and that's going to mess up your back. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to be going like that. Okay. You can do two hands always. Yeah, I, I prefer two hands. At the beginning, I like two hands. I like you to have that, that little bit of control. Okay. Okay. And then just do like. Do I say anything? Nope, just go. And look ahead of you. So, what you want to do is you want to pop and don't stop when you pop. So what I want you to do is take up a little bit more of the leash. Uh -huh. Right there. Good. And what I want you to do is just look forward. Okay. And let's just start walking and walking. What I want you to do is I want you to just pop every couple of... Hold on, you're holding too much of it. So, what I want you to do is just... Look, look and... Just a little bit what I want you to do is... There are books out there and there are training systems that say, when your dog pulls, come to a stop. Unfortunately, those people have still not made it around the block. So, <laughs> not up. Take down. Nope, and pops. That's a okay. backward pop. So in other words, if your dog is going forward, it should be parallel to the bottom. Okay. So notice how your dog is a little bit more focused on you. There we go. Look ahead of you. And I want you to start just learning how to feel it. Really great. How does this feel? Yeah, it feels great. Feels better? Okay, because it looks really good. Yeah.
And you can tell your dog is being calmer. Now, you would think after walking your dog for 30 minutes pulling you, you would come home and be tired. It's just the opposite. It comes home and it's out of control. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes of structure, though, like this, uh -huh. your dog is mentally and physically tired. Yeah. Okay. It's great. So why don't you try the walk again? Good job. Looks good. Looks good. Nice. Why don't you come to a stop right there? And, and then again, I should be able to walk up to you. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I can ignore your dog if I want to. Mm -hmm. That's entitled. Or I can mm -hmm. pet your dog if I want to, if you allow me to. Okay. And then pet, pet, pet. So all these pet, pet, pets should not get the dog to break. Okay. So me petting the dog is not rewarding the dog. I'm actually trying to be a distraction. So you can role play this with people in your family as well. <coughs> So your dog should be able to just be politely next to you the whole time. Imagine where you can go. Yeah. All right. It's amazing. I can take them to places. Yeah. Good. So what I want you to do this week is always do your default um, in and out of houses, all your doorways, garage. Notice you have a place in the backyard. You're going out to the back of the bathroom. I don't want your dog locking the door. Hopefully you can slam that door. Um, in and out of the front door. And in vehicles.